Hello everybody and welcome to a new series here on Truck Driver. We're going to start uh, this series here, uh, something different on the on the channel. Um, I'll also be doing another series on another trucking game called On the Road. Uh, but we'll get into that um, as we go along. So in this uh, series, this is uh, more of an arcade style game. So we're going to basically be doing jobs for other people. So we're going to be working for other people, delivering cargo, stuff like that. So we'll get to see all the different cargo as we go along. Uh, when you start up the game, you click uh, to play, you'll come to this screen here, which is your character selection. So we're going to go with this guy. And then we're going to get into the game. And I've mapped out my buttons um, so they're kind of to my preference, but they will be different when you guys start the game. So we start here in our truck, which is uh, our uncle's old truck. So he's going to talk us through, even though apparently we are a truck driver anyway. So I've started my vehicle. And he's going to tell us to start the engine, which I've already done. There we go. So, you're just going to keep going through. I'm not a big, huge fan of this uh, this whole tablet thing. So, so you get the uh, the truck controls there, which is steering, acceleration, brake, and your map. The map is not huge by any means. There was supposed to be an expansion on the map. Uh, but <sighs> updates and add-ons are very, very slow on this game. I have not played this game for quite a while. Um, to me, nothing's really changed. So we're going to do what we can. And we're going to go to this depot down here. So as I say, it is an arcade-style game. So, I mean, graphically, it's not the worst. Um, Gameplay-wise, as I say, we'll talk about different things as we go along. Between the, the two games uh, with Truck Driver and On the Road, I, f I find that Truck Driver seems to have a better kind of control with the truck, uh, whereas uh, turning corners and uh, trailer behaviour is concerned, whereas On the Road it's very wonky and it can be a real, real pest. So, with the camera options, you've got a lot of camera options here. Um, I'll just stop that, it's quite loud. Uh, in order to get back in your cab, you've got to keep clicking and clicking and clicking. You cannot look out the window uh, like you could uh, in, or like you can in things like Euro Truck. I think what I'll do is I'll turn the volume down of the truck because it's quite loud. Um, yeah, as I say, you cannot really look out the window like you can in Euro Truck Simulator or um, on the road you can. So, so there we go. So we've reversed up and we're going to take the trailer. So now we're going to go to Westerhaven. So yeah, as I say, that I find that this game, the controls are really good with regards to your truck's behaviour and trailer behaviour. Um, but there can be a, quite a bit of glitching that goes on as well. Um, one other thing I really don't like is the speeds of uh, the trucks and that is to be expected with an arcade game to be honest it doesn't seem right the, the acceleration seems a lot really off and for me this doing 30 mile an hour seems like I'm doing 50 mile an hour so but as you can see the trailer behaves like it should follows the, the, the road well. As I say, we 
when you're going quite fast, um, you do tend to lose control of the truck because, as I say, I do find that it's far too, far too fast. I mean, to me, driving at 40 is like driving at 50 or driving at 60. It's, it's quite fast. We're going to be taking a right here. Yeah, when I go around the corner, you'll see what I mean. The, the trailer behaves like it should around the corner, whereas when you see me playing on the road, you'll see that the trailers um, do not behave like that at all. They wobble all over the place, and I've never known that in truck games, even in Euro Truck or American Truck. can, I'm sorry, or you do get uh, like cruise control and stuff like that as well to help you out. Um, there are missions that are timed, but they put time limits on that were just, they were kind of stupid because instead of keep making it a challenge for you, they put they gave you so much time to do it that, you know, to get from one place to another that it just just did not seem right at all. But as I say, the game's not had updates for quite a while now, um, so we're going to see what, uh, while we're doing the series, if any updates come out. But once we get down to Westerhaven and drop this uh, trailer off, which is just down here, find out all the other options because you'll notice in the top right I've got my money and experience points so we get to unlock some cool things with the experience points and stuff like that so I'm going to be turning right about here I'm getting a lot of lag it's quite laggy, so I don't know if it's coming through on the actual video, but it is laggy. Right, so we get to do the trailer parking accuracy. You can hold the triangle button um, if you want to just skip it, but I like to try and get as much as I possibly can for experience and money, so... Sometimes you won't get 100%. Uh, I don't know if that's kind of like a glitch or something. But uh, yeah, so we got 250 experience points. And um, some money on top of that. Right, so we're going to go and open up the, the wheel. Uh, the wheel, the passives. So we get missions. Um, tells us what we're doing here. So we've got different clients. We're with Uncle at the moment. So there are plenty of clients to work for. Skills as we go along. Uh, emotion driver. Now the trucks obviously don't have uh, obviously proper branded names. Uh, but uh, you've got the emotion driver, quest driver, venture, tour. And jaunt. The jaunt is what people class as being a Scania. Um, so the more you drive, the more things you unlock, paint colours and stuff and parts for your vehicles. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this one, which is uh, to get bonus percentage for rewarded money. And there we go. 
I know that the XP will require more for each one that you you do, so. Right. And once we get through this tutorial, in the bottom right corner of the screen, um, on the sat nav, you'll see the fuel gauge. We're going to go and fill up with fuel. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see the sleep as well. So we're going to end up doing both of them. Right. Unlocked the passive. All right, so we're going to go and refuel the truck. We just got to follow the directions of the sat nav. As I say, the game basically tells you what you need to do, what you should be doing. So it's not like on the road where you can just pick up a trailer from anywhere and just do your a business like that. This is basically you are you're basically hired to do work for other people, which is which is nice. I like that. I do like it. Don't get me wrong. tried the the creators of this game uh, tried far too hard to make this out to be an, a simulator it is not a simulator f as far as i'm concerned anyway right so we've got to refuel our truck but it will probably tell you there in the top left turn off your engine and then hold to refuel Traffic AI can be quite dodgy at times as well. They were they were trying to work on that, but that kind of a bit of a failure. So so now we're going to go to the next rest point, and we are going to get some rest. Perfect. Oh, start up the engine again. And then we will head off. So how is everybody doing the day? I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing good. Just glad that I'm finally able to get some sort of uh, content started again uh, you know kind of annoyed at all the carry on I'm happy with farming simulator because I was just thoroughly enjoying doing it so but this kind of adds something else to the the channel which is nice uh, but I'm just going to wait now, I think. I'll wait till I get my PlayStation 5 and see what happens there. See, I was told that uh, someone else who had a PS4 had the same problems with game crashing and that before their console gave out, so it wasn't the most reassuring thing to hear but uh, I thought well I'll just stop playing Farming Simulator just now and then I'll get back to it when I get the, the new PlayStation 5 so right so this is the rest stop it's not far away anyway so turn the engine off and we're going to sleep for four hours and there we go Right, so we're going to get some more advice. So we got 100 XP and 150 pound in rewards. So I think, yeah, we're going to head back to the garage. All right, so we're going to head back to the garage. So I'll head back down to the garage and I will see you guys down there. Hello everybody and welcome back. So I had a bit of a, a mishap on the recording. Um, let's get back into the truck here. So after I left the sleep area, 
I had initially pressed record on for uh, recording the next part and for some reason it decided to stop so basically you didn't miss too much you went back to the garage showed me how to repair the truck and uh, showed uh, customization stuff in that so but we will get through all that anyway so I thought while we're down here we'll meet uh, the first person that we meet down here at the dock which is Charlie Dover <laughs> So we're going to meet him. So we, once we get to here, we get to this part here. And then we just click on jobs and we get to meet Charlie Dover for the first time. Good old Charlie. So he'll basically give us a job. So we'll get this job and see what we've got and uh, maybe we get another one done. See how time goes. So basically, Charlie just tells us where the trailer is, and then, as I say, we just work for these people, so. But it's a good thing to start you off, and. Right, so you do get a time limit here to do this, but not all the jobs are like this. So, let's go and attach this trailer here. Once we've done this, we'll take it to the unloading area. We'll just follow the, the sat-nav out. So, yeah, I mean, I would I would see, like to hear your, your views on the game. And yes, I know I'm driving the wrong way, so please don't criticise me for that just yet. <laughs> I am driving on the right side of the road, though. Um... Yeah, I mean, what do you think so far, uh, graphically, gameplay-wise? Is it a game that you would consider yourself, or are you just happy to just watch other people play it in the meantime? So we're going to go into this dock here, and then we're going to end up over there on the left-hand side. So some of these you can just drive straight into, which is good. And some of them you can make a bit more of a challenge for yourself if you wanted to. So we'll see the counter go up. So we'll get this. Right, so we'll get this parked up. We'll see what Charlie's saying next. As I say, I'm not the best at this game, by no means a pro, so. There we go, 100%. There we go, that's that job out of the way. Right, so we can go to him if we need more work. Once we, oh, once we get through uh, and meet new players, we'll take on new jobs from them, and then we don't necessarily have to like finish all of one person's um, jobs before going on the next person. So we can, we'll meet other people as we go along, doing jobs for people as well so all right let's go back to Charlie and we shall see what else he's got in store for us so yeah the game's been out for quite a while Updates on uh, updates are a thing that I think is a thing of the past. Uh, we've been waiting for an update on the map for well over a year now, and it doesn't seem to be coming along at all. Right, so got to pick up a trailer for him now. So 
So we gotta go to the inn near the lighthouse. Hmm, that'll be interesting. Right, so we're gonna go and pick up a trailer for Charlie and bring it back to him. So yeah, as I say, and, and where DLCs are concerned, it was just paint jobs that have come out and really the game was well anticipated when it first, I mean, this is kind of like the first truck simulator slash simulator kind of first game that came out for trucking on console and we were all really hyped about it and it just very very slow in updating very slow in doing anything to be honest whereas on the road is a lot f a lot faster um, so yeah with on the road we've got new trucks coming they are licensed trucks so it's really exciting how far they've come along with that. The the game is built on the Uni Unity engine, uh, which obviously, as most of you may know, is the simplest of engines, and it's free. Um, so, but from what I heard, with on the road, is they're rebuilding uh, the game. So they're adding new bits, basically rebuilding it. Uh, on, I think, possibly a different engine. Right, so we're going to attach this trailer. And then some of the um, trailers are, or they the were, in awkward areas. Right, so, are we going to be bringing it back? Yes, we are. Ooh, if we get it back there quick enough, we'll get some extra cash. Right, so we've got four minutes to do it, which I'm, I'm assuming we will be able to do it. Um, yeah, so as I say with this game, it's very, very lapsed in... In any updates whatsoever, uh, the company that or the publisher Sedesco, they were having a lot of problems. They were having fallouts with the game developers and had to get new ones. And it was just, oh, it was just a farce. It really was. So, yeah, there is still high hopes for the game, though. I mean, I enjoy it, or I did enjoy it. And then I stopped because nothing was happening, nothing was coming. Um, but as I say, with on the road updates, are seem to be quite a lot more frequent now. Um, they are putting the effort in, so I, I just wish with on the road they would get their trailer behavior done properly. Whereas, as I said before, the trailer behavior in this game is, is, is great. It's just, to be honest, I would class it as just like ETS controls. Right, where am I parking this, Charlie? Over there, okay. So as I say, some of these uh, trailer areas were in very awkward places. I know that we like a challenge, but sometimes it was just more of a hindrance than anything else. Right, let's get this uh, parked up. There we go, 100%. Detach. There we go, perfect. I should get money and experience. There we go, perfect.
so I can take another job from Charlie. As I say, there, there's not a huge amount of jobs um, on the game itself, so. Well, each character doesn't have a huge amount of jobs, but uh, it's enough enough to keep you going just now. So, yeah, there you go. That's the tutorial on meeting Charlie Dover for the first time. So, I'm going to leave it here, guys. So, if you like what, you, what you've what you seen so far, please leave a like. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and click that notification bell so you are informed of all my uploads and please leave a comment in the comment section below uh, of what you think so far um, and are you quite happy to watch this series or would you be happy to watch this series um, as I say on the road will be coming as well uh, don't know how well that's going to go uh, because of the truck behaviors and stuff like that so um, we'll see how that goes uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave it here guys and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.